class. Getting ready for class right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave my hair fluffy or do it. But I think I'm going to do it because I, I don't know. I just say washing it out. It's the worst part. But Saturday is acting class day. Let's get it. Oh, and also, Will just left like this morning. I didn't get to vlog. My camera was dead, but he's gone now. It's sad, but he's on to bigger, better things. So, you know, one of the reasons why I got to live here was because of Will. So I'm forever thankful for him. Which is, this is now Kimmy's new room. Um, and that room that Kimmy lives in is going to be the awesome hangout spot. I don't know, working spot, writing spot, studying spot kind of thing. But yeah, I guys actually decided to go with my hair done today. Um, I promise I'm going to make a wake up with me, get ready with me kind of thing in the morning uh, video soon here. But not on the day where I have acting class. But... Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna head out now, and we will go to school! Guys, I was driving and I just noticed this little curl, this little Superman curl I have. I'm like, yeah, I think I'll keep it for now. I won't even fix it. I'm just gonna leave it, you know? I'll be Superman today. Superman, Superman, Superman curl. I need like a like a holder or something that will just like hold my camera right here, like a suction cup. I have a GoPro version of that, but I guess I don't have, why does it always feel like my nose is stuffy? I have a GoPro version of that, but um, I don't have the camera, this Canon version. Right now I'm driving to class, and it's actually not very dangerous because I'm not going very fast at all. I'm going about 20 miles an hour, but don't try this at home, disclaimer. I just wanted to maximize the amount of time we can hang out with you guys because Saturdays are, you know, I spend a lot of time in my acting class and I'm very grateful for that time I get to spend my acting days. I get to get better at my acting, which I do every day, but it's more focused training. You know, I like, I, I, not only do I learn to get better and practice it and put up scenes and watch movies, um, I'm also being inspired to continue being an actor, being an artist, because my teacher is amazing and she is so motivating, you know. Like just an example of like something she talks about is that like when she was my age, she had a kid already and she was trying to be an actor and doing everything, working three different jobs. Um, so I have no really excuses at all. Like I don't have a kid I have to pay for. I just have to pay for myself. And so I need to really focus and work really hard and that's why I've been studying really hard and just trying to do everything I can, working out, dancing, singing, everything I can to just be the best me so that when opportunities arise, I can be there. And I'm trying to vlog as much as I can because I know these things are gonna happen and I can feel it in my bones. I know like success is coming and I want to make sure I vlog because I want you, I want to take you guys with me. So I've vlogged ever since I used an iPhone 5 and now I'm all the way on a GX7 or G7X, sorry. And that's already a big change, you know? Like to me that was like, wow. Like I've vlogged since I was using my iPhone 5 and I went to the iPhone success and now I'm on my G7X and it's just, that's already a, a change and I can't wait for you guys to notice other changes in my life and what my work and I just want to continue to get better and hopefully motivate you guys to make videos or follow your dreams or be an artist or do whatever. I know, this seems kind of dangerous but it's not. Look how slow I'm going. I'm just like barely tapping the gas. So that's why I want to talk to you guys because otherwise I won't get out of class until 6 o'clock and I just really won't get to hang out with you guys. So I wanted to just talk to you guys. I, I want to do a Q&A soon so make sure you guys add me on Instagram here at Marlon Ramsey Chan or add me on Snapchat because I think I want to do an Instagram Q&A and then a Snapchat Q&A and then actually have you guys in it. Kind of like how Casey does it where he puts like the, the users in from Snapchat like with questions. And so I want to do that too, so make sure you guys uh, add me on Snapchat at Marlon Rar and even on Twitter. You know, I'm I'm very spontaneous, so I might either I might even do the Q and A on Twitter or on Snapchat or on Instagram. So make sure you guys just follow me on those. And yeah, because I, I I post a video every single day, so I think I'm gonna do a lot more Q and As because I need more interaction with you guys. Because right now I feel like my conversation and my story is just like me, me me but I want it to be like us and if I could get that I think I'd be a lot happier too because then I'd feel like I have like a lot more friends driving in the car you hear a lot of like censored music because you're listening to the radio and um, there's a song that says you know I like bad blank that's my blank problem 
but it's just funny listening to it on the radio. So like, watch, I'll show you an example when it comes on right here. Here we go. I love that. And yeah, I like it. That's my. <laughs> it's like the whole song's missing. It says like a ton of bad words in it, but I think it's hilarious that <laughs> it's just like not even the whole song, but just because the beat's so cool or whatever that we we can still listen to it on the radio. I'm on break now from a class. Look at all these snacks. Compliment. We get snacks in class because it's a really long class, and so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back in now. But just looking at the sun. Go back in. Just got out of class. It is nighttime already. So that's why Saturdays I try to talk to you in traffic because I spend like all my time in class on Saturdays and Wednesdays. So yeah, now let's go home. I don't know, I think I got a lot of work to do when I get home. Uh, but today in class, we got to do a lot of really cool things, but we got to watch a movie that was from our, oh my goodness, radio, stop. We got to watch a movie that's from our uh, mandatory four list. There's four movies that we have to see. And the movie we watched today was called On the Waterfront with the legend, the god, Marlon Brando. And I first came to this, this class about a year ago and I watched this movie because it was a mandatory movie. I'm a good, I'm a good person. I watch the movies I need to watch. Um, but I watched it, it was black and white. I got it, I got, you know, the concepts of it, but now after watching it as an actor. It's so different. I mean, there's so many things I can study and I can watch this movie like a hundred more times. And I mean, I guess I might be talking on deaf ears because you guys might not be know, like might not know what I'm talking about because you guys aren't actors either. But like, how do I put this in perspective? Like, um, hmm. Okay, so like, let's say you, you, you went to try this like cheese, right? and then you just thought it was like this really stinky, nasty cheese, or like it tasted okay or whatever. But then now, a year later, after learning so much about cheeses and the process of cheese making and what went into making this cheese and how long it took to make this cheese and the, the finest milk that was put into this cheese, when you taste the cheese, you're just like, oh my, oh, it's like just amazing, right? That's how I felt today. I, was, I watched the movie, I was learning all these things and like, there's a thing we learn in acting, it's called behavior. It's something like an actor does during, you know, to make everything more truthful. And Marlon Brando is so good at that, that like I started to notice like in, in scenes that when I first watched it, I didn't notice any behavior, nothing. When I watched it this time, I was like, oh my goodness, like the way he was just like touching this glove and playing with this glove, the way he was walking around, like he had so much swagger and I know, you guys not, might not understand because you guys aren't actors, but I just, I don't know, I, I'm really excited about it, so I wanted to share a little bit of what I learned today with you guys. Hi, right, so I just got home. Oh, hi, Riku. What are you doing? Hey, Riku, are you a camera whore? Come here. Say hi. Oh, puppy, you want to lick the camera? Okay. Riku's here. I'm going to look for something to eat. Hello? Something to eat? Are you here? Hello? Hello? No, I guess there's nothing to eat here. Okay. Hello guys, I am working right now. It is nine o'clock. I'm working on an edit of this Rocket League video, but I was eating these, right? I don't know if you guys ever had these. These are Starbursts that come like wrapped. But the thing is, they come in this bag. And I feel like the Starburst people expect me to have like self-control to not eat this whole bag. But they don't know. I, I, they do this on purpose. And apparently, only six of these little tiny things, six of these little baby things is 27 grams of sugar. Holy crap. I've ate like at least 30 to 40 of these. Oh my goodness. I hate them for putting it in like this bag form thing that just never ends. Like, listen to how many are in there. Uh, I have no self-control, Starburst. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> this is, I was, the only way like for me to not eat it is just to throw it somewhere far away from my desk, so I can't get it. So now I won't eat them, but they're on my desk, I'm just gonna eat them all. Guys, just finished editing this video, it's exporting. I think it's now time to take a shower. Our time. Da -da -da -da. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> 